Letter from the university tomorrow about whether or not their contracts will be renewed. The move comes as the university stands to lose millions under Governor Rauner's 2016 budget. News 3's Anna Giles is here now, and Anna, most will not receive bad news, right? That's right. Most of the letters some faculty and grad students will receive from the university are not letters of termination. They are letters of maybe. Maybe they'll keep their job. Maybe they won't. It all depends on the state budget, a fate that has those very staff on edge. I believe these cuts are essentially crippling the future of Illinois. It's SIU graduate student Jonathan Flowers' job to represent nearly 1,500 fellow graduate students and help many of them keep their jobs. Due to looming state budget cuts, it's unclear if students with graduate assistantships, a critical source of financial aid, will get to keep them. Oh, these tuition waivers and stipends often provide the bulk of a graduate assistant or a graduate student's uh, living expenses and their capacity to even be a student. SIU plans to send out letters starting May 1st to roughly 300 graduate assistants and faculty who are on the non-tenure track. In these letters, they'll find a yes, no, or maybe from the university on whether or not they have a job for the coming year. And we don't feel it's responsible to make commitments when we don't know whether we'll be able to fulfill them. SIU spokeswoman Ray Goldsmith says the university is grappling with a proposed $32 million in state cuts. In addition, SIU has struggled with enrollment numbers for the last decade, reducing revenue. In a meeting with the state comptroller earlier this month, SIU President Randy Dunn said high staff numbers were a financial problem. As a research university, you're, you're going to have to invest in you know, a set of functions and people, but we're at the point now we can't we can't keep doing that either. Many students and staff say a lack of job security and resources impacts quality of education. If SIU can no longer pro provide these things, other schools are going to be appear will appear more attractive. Earlier this month, SIU administrators had to increase tuition by $420 a semester for incoming freshmen, partly in response to proposed state cuts. And I know some university leaders are concerned about how these proposed cuts and the increase in tuition might affect new student enrollment. Yes, SIU President Randy Dunn says the university has used a new marketing strategy to attract students, something he says is making a difference. However, proposed cuts could bring that success to a screeching halt. All right, we'll see what happens. Thank you, Anna.